you said this before you came here. You said, I will go and I will. I would listen to that for inspiration. I keep forgetting it. And I'm just like in this like, what did I say? Like, what did I say I was going to do before he came here? You like, said, what, what I'll go you forward said. into my physical experience, and I will remember that the larger part of me remains non-physically focused. Yeah. And I will look around the environment, and I will sing the, see things wanted and unwanted, and it will help me hone a clear understanding moment by moment of what I most prefer. And then I will focus in the direction of my preference until I accomplish vibrational alignment with my own inner being. And when I do that, my inner being who knows the fullness of what I'm asking for and knows the path of least resistance for me to get there will feed to me moment by moment in real time ideas and impulses that will lead me joyfully along the path to the full unfolding of what I want. That's what you said. Yeah. I love it. I love it. You also said... And each time that happens, I will stand in a new place with new manifestations and also a whole new set of contrasting experiences which will give birth to another good idea. And as that other good idea comes, my inner being will hold steady on that good idea. And I might be waving about, wavery about it, but I will seek the feeling of satisfaction that my inner being is feeling as my inner being focuses upon it. And as I tune into that feeling of satisfaction, I will come into full alignment. And once again, I will be in that place of receiving impulses and ideas so that I will not only be the creator, step one, I will be the receiver, step three. But the most important, exciting part of being physical is that then I will get to, in concert with my inner being, witness the deliberate and gentle and delicious unfolding of each and everything that I ask for. And in that, in that experience, I will eventually come into full feeling of worthiness. I will come to expect that good things are supposed to come to me. I will come to know that life is supposed to be fun. I will come to know that I'm supposed to feel good. Struggle will be a part of my past, and ease and flow will be a part of my eternally unfolding future experience. Yeah. I will be a shining light under the world. Yeah. I will live such ease and grace and joy that others will see me, and they will know from what they see that I've figured some things out. And when they ask me, how is it that you are so joyful? And how is it that so many things come to you with such ease? And I will say to them, you said you knew. I just get into the receiving mode. I care about being satisfied. I go with the flow. I chill out. I push against nothing. I seek love. I move in the direction of what feels good. I find what feels good. I maintain that balance by my attention and focus. I care about how I feel until I have mastered alignment with source energy so that I continue to be a radiating light of source energy wherever I go. And then those like you who are really the same as me, who are wanting to figure out how to tune into that frequency, I maybe sometimes make it a little easier for you to tune in because I'm tuned in. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what you said. And then you said. I said a lot. <laughs> oh, your vortex is so full of what you said. <laughs> your vortex is so full of your intentions for happy living and happy guidance and happy uplifting and happy life. Yeah. Yeah. Then you said. And most important, I will figure it out as I go. There's not anything that I'm supposed to do. There's not anything that's been assigned to me. I get to choose. I'm so free, I can choose bondage. And expansion is inevitable. And so my goal is joy. That's what you said. For the last nine months, really up until the day, the night before I came on this cruise, which I was feeling awesome about. And then I found out that he's been cheating on me for a really long time. We agree that you all have different levels of how much you're willing to put up with. And whether he's just annoying or whether he is violating some commitment that the two of you have established. In other words, we get it that there are narrower and wider gaps. But we want to be so bold as to say that whoever you are interacting with is going to violate the commitment that almost all of you want them to keep. And the commitment that almost everybody wants, everybody that they're up close to and personal to keep is, I want you to promise to put me first no matter what. And that is a commitment that no one keeps. 
because you are not wired like that. You were not born like that. You, you've come to establish, we would like your marriage vows or your relationship vows to go like this. Dear one, I want you to know that as much as I love you, there's someone who comes first before you. And that is my alignment with the source within me. That's my inner being. That's who I'm devoted to. That's who I'm aligned to. That's who I'm feeling for. That's what my commitment is to. And my promise to you is that I will give you as much as I can the fullness of me, not a separated me. I'm going to do my best to satisfy my alignment and therefore give you the gift of living with someone who is aligned. And what that will be for you, what that will mean for you, how that will play out for you is, I won't be needing or demanding from you behavior in order to keep myself happy. My happiness will be dependent upon my focus. There are people who feel betrayed if their partners think about other people. There are people who feel betrayed if their partner doesn't give their undivided attention to them. There are people who feel jealous if anyone feels happy at the thought or in the conversation with somebody else. There's, there are all kinds of degrees of cheating on you. And for the most part, any part of someone else cheating on you just means you've taken your attention away from me. And I was dependent upon your attention being upon me so that I could feel good. And now you've taken your attention away from me since it this is too strong for you but we really want you all to to not be dependent upon anyone for the alignment that it is the epitome of looking for love in all the wrong places and when you say you've cheated on me we know we know there are agreements that you make we get what you're talking about but we would like you to be uncheatable uponable I'm stable, and my self-respect, my sense of well-being is not dependent upon your behavior. So what you're really wanting to do is decide what you want and become a vibrational match to what you want, and you will attract a partner who is a vibrational match to what you want, you see. And so we're not suggesting that you will not find another partner. We're just suggesting that you find true alignment with who you are before you go looking. We have a plan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was set into motion long before we got here on this platform. And you are all co-conspirators in this plan. And you have, through what you've been living, been contributing to this plan. And it is the brightest and most exhilarating of future experiences has ever been upon the face of the earth. And it is the legacy that all of you hold ownership of in order for you to claim your piece of this amazing pie of prosperity all you have to do is look in the direction of it and see if you can remember what pieces of it you put there because every piece you put there has been lovingly held for you it cannot evaporate from the stock market and it cannot be squandered by those who don't understand and it cannot be misunderstood by anyone and it cannot be taken from you because if your life caused you to put it into this holding pattern, this vibrational escrow, then it is forever there for you.